Well, good morning. It is good to see you here in the house of the Lord this morning, and it's good to be here to worship our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're glad that you're all here. We have visitors with us, and we are so glad that you are here this morning, and trust and pray that you will be blessed for being in the house of the Lord. We had 164 in Sunday school this morning, so hopefully we can work on that a little bit, but praise God for all those that were here this morning. Amen. And thank you for being present in Sunday school. Uh, announcements have been on the overhead and they're in the bulletin. Just to, uh, just a couple of things to mention. Uh, Angie had a meeting called for the children's department parent for about camp this afternoon at 6, and she has canceled that, and that will be rescheduled. So please take note of that. And please remember our youth camp fundraiser next Sunday, uh, luncheon, uh, right after church, and uh, just come and join us for that and support our youth as we... Uh, begin to move toward going to summer camp this summer. So it's good to be here, good to see you this morning, and good to know that our Savior is with us all the time. Amen. We do have many in our church family that are sick. Please keep those in prayer. Uh, Del Millsap's still in the hospital, but should come home this week. Uh, Miss Fanny had to go to the hospital uh, Friday afternoon for a little while, but she's back home. Pray for her and Mr. Ralph. And we need to lift up uh, Miss Kay's family and Miss Jetty this morning. She is not doing well. Miss Kay and Norma are there with her. And please keep them in our prayers. Our pastor is going to come and lead us in our morning prayer time. I'm going to ask that you would just stand uh, for a moment. And we will continue to, to not join hands while all this flu is still going around. I'm going to ask Levi, if he will, to come up to the front. Levi, come on. I'm not going to get you, Levi. <laughs> Come on. I want you to know this morning, it has been a whole year since Levi has had a seizure. And I want all of us to understand this morning that Levi stands before you and is able to claim that victoriously because of your prayers and your support. And God has heard each of our prayers, and uh, he's going to continue to answer those prayers. And this is a wonderful day to celebrate a wonderful victory in Jesus. Can you say amen this morning? Amen. 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 Our God is awesome. Let's pray together. Amen. Father, I bless Levi today. Yes. This is a very special day in his life. It's a time that you have worked in his life for the last year, and you have answered prayer upon prayer, and he's been seizure-free for a whole year. And Lord, that is an awesome thing. A visual reminder of, uh, for us today, Father, that God still hears and answers our prayers, and we're forever indebted to you for that. And we come this morning in prayer, giving you thanks and honor and glory, not only for Levi, but for every answered prayer that has come to this family of God here at Rocky Hill. This has become a place of miracles. The miracles of God are being manifested uh, on a regular basis, and we thank you for that. There's been healings, all kinds of deliverance, and we bless you for that. You're an awesome God. And Father, we stand before you today in giving you praise and glory and majesty for who you are. Bless in this service. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God be upon this place today and upon every heart in life. Touch us today for eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you, buddy. Amen. I'm going to ask our children, if you would, come down at this time and join Mr. Frank Cutchins for Children's Church. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad you came to Sunday school and church today. And uh, 
put the Lord first on his day because this is his day and that's what he wants us to do. So we've done the right thing and he'll, he'll bless each and every one of us that have did that today. I'd like to share something with you this morning that uh, I think the Lord had a part in my life with and uh, he did it through today's Sunday school lesson. I brought this adult Sunday school class and about two weeks ago I was looking through my Bible and I saw some things that I'd written down in there and I hardly ever write in, in my Bible, uh, not because I don't want to, uh, but uh, sometimes I just feel like that is, is, a, is a honorable and it's, a, it's just the Word of God. And, but to study, we've got to make notes somewhere. So uh, I've, I've got a section I do make some notes in. And I read this note, and it said, Jesus is touched by our faith and will. And then I got five little dots after that last word and with parentheses, and I got answer in there. So I think, when I first read it, I think, well, what did I write that in there for? And uh, I thought about it and thought about it, and I couldn't remember the circumstances. Uh, but I know that after reading the Sunday school lesson, studying Sunday school lesson for day, for today, Habakkuk asked God, he questioned God, and he's, and he's saying why. And, uh, you know, as we grow up, and as you guys grow up, and that's the reason I want to say what I've got to say this morning, you're going to question God, and you're going to ask him why he doesn't do something right now, or where are you? And, uh, you know, that's just normal. But we've got to have the faith that he is going to answer that prayer. And a lot of times, or the reason I wrote that down uh, in my Bible is because, I don't remember, like I said, I don't remember circumstances, but I do know that he answered the prayer. And it was a very crucial thing for me, I know, or I wouldn't have written it. And when he answered that prayer, then that told me that he will, he hears every prayer. He don't answer them, you know, you're going to have prayers that will be answered right now. You're going to have probably more that will be answered a, l a little bit later in life. And then there's some prayers you're probably not going to ever find an answer for. But what God's trying to tell me and to tell you is if we will keep that faith and uh, keep on acting like God's going to answer that prayer, then He's going to answer it. And He will. He, he may not do it here, but He's going to answer it someday. And it, it's sort of like stepping up to the plate to hit a ball or kick a ball or whatever. There's 16,000 things you can do with a ball. But, and, and Patty tells our grandchildren, says, you've got to concentrate when that ball is coming, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but we have got to have the faith that we're going to hit that ball and we've got to take action. You know, a lot of times in my life I have had the faith, but I haven't taken action. So if I've got the faith... I'm going to hit the ball, and I step up to the plate, and I hit the ball, then, you know, it's, my prayer's been answered. But another thing, sometimes I don't hit the ball. I strike three times the out. In God's game, you can strike a hundred times. Just keep on striking. Let's have a prayer before we go back, okay? <clears throat> Our Father, we're grateful to you that uh, you hear all of our prayers. And you want to answer all of them if it's for your glory. But dear God, we pray that you would help our faith to be that uh, we won't quit until it is answered. For your honor, for your glory. Uh, we have asked for people to be healed, and you've healed them right here in this church. Sometimes you answered right away, and then sometimes it took a while, but it increased our faith. So we trust you, Father, in every single thing we say and do. In Jesus' name, for your glory, we pray. Amen.
brethren, we have met to worship. We'll do the first and last verse. One thing that was brought to our attention after we uh, had the announcements was Dale Rankin fell yesterday and broke his ankle. So please keep Dale in your prayers in his time of healing from that uh, accident yesterday. And also, I just want to encourage you to come and be a part of this movie that will be shown here this coming Saturday night. This is a powerful, powerful movie about life and about the sanctity of human life. And so I would encourage you to come and be a part of that this coming Saturday night at at 7 o'clock. Let's pray. Fathers, we come into your presence today as we come before you, Lord. We come with thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking you for all of your goodness, for all of your mercy, for all of your love, for all the blessings that you shower upon us each and every day. And, Father, thanking you that we know that even when we find ourselves in the middle of difficult circumstances, that when we cry out to you, you hear our prayer. Thank you for that reminder that Frank gave us in the children's sermon. Father, that you're always there. You never, ever leave us or forsake us. And Father, thank you for hearing our prayers and answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord, as we have sung, that we can be a part of this great family of God and we'll spend eternity together in heaven one day. Oh, what a day that's going to be. Father, thank you. And thank you for this time that we have to gather together as your people to worship you, to honor you, to lift up the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray that uh, in the remainder of this service that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide and direct. Lord, I ask you to be with those that will sing. Father, be with Pastor Cook as he comes to bring the message to us. Father, let us listen with open eyes and open ears and receptive hearts and respond as the Holy Spirit leads. Father, I pray that if there's one in this room this morning that does not know Jesus as Lord and Savior, that today they will be saved. And Father, as we come now to worship you through our giving, Lord, let it truly be a time of giving, a time of worship. Let us give with cheerful hearts that your kingdom may be advanced in this place. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. 